represented was not represented because of its link up with the NatWest and the Co-op Bank because of its link up with Gyro. The representatives from Yorkshire, NatWest and Gyro attended from the bank's head offices whilst the Halifax, Lloyds and Royal Bank of Scotland were represented, were represented um, by local managers. It may be of interest to learn that Lloyds Bank um, are exploring the possibilities of installing a cash dispenser machine at their branch close to our office in Highfield Road. New paragraph. Blackpool Pleasure Beach was first opened in 1904 and it remains today a family firm. Full stop. The company also owns pleasure beaches at Morecambe and Southport and at Magic Harbour um, in America. Full stop. It may well be that in 12 months or so they will approach us once more with a view to installing cash dispensing machines at both the Morecambe and Southport sites. Full stop. The Pleasure Beach is the biggest single tourist attraction in Britain with over six and a half million visitors each year. As a matter of interest, uh, the next most popular tourist attraction is the Tower of London with two million visitors. Full stop. Of the six and a half million visitors, it is estimated that each spend approximately seven pounds on each visit to the Pleasure Beach. The Pleasure Beach itself has more rides than Disney World and Disneyland put together. I suppose we'd have a full stop there. New paragraph. The Pleasure Beach opens for a 31 week period from Easter to the end of October each year. Although the Ice Drum and White Tower complex incorporating discos, restaurants and bars opens for 52 weeks per year. Full stop. Our speed bank cash dispenser could remain open for 52 weeks each year. Uh, head it up location now. There are four principal entrances to the Pleasure Beach, two of these being situated at the north end. Full stop. Over 80% of the people visiting the Pleasure Beach pass through the north entrances. Full stop. The cash dispenser machines would be located close to these entrances adjacent to the White Tower complex. The Pleasure Beach beyond this point is fenced off during um, the out of season period. This site or proposed site is approximately 50 yards from a large car park which would prove to be beneficial during the winter months when customers would be able um, to drive on the car park and walk a short distance to the autoteller machine. The area is lit during I want to say here, scrub that bit. The um, area is floodlit um, in darkness hours or something like that nature. Make something up. Uh, next heading is security. The Pleasure Beach site is patrolled by security officers 24 hours a day for 365 days in each year. Customers should find this of benefit. The question regarding access to the ATM machines is open to debate. The 
Pleasure Beach will undertake servicing of the machine and loading cash in the machine. Full stop. This will be carried out by security officers um, with key restrictions, i.e. Um, two officers would be required before the machines could be um, accessed. Oh, full stop. Next heading would be building. The building where the ATMs would be housed will be built or constructed by Blackpool Pleasure Beach staff who have their own building service unit. Full stop. The approximate cost of the building would be £20,000 plus um, electricity and um, British Telecom services. The Pleasure Beach have set a top figure of £40,000 which would be borne by the participating banks, full stop, i.e. if four banks decide to um, place ATMs on the Pleasure Beach, the cost for each bank would be £10,000 plus the cost of the individual autoteller machine. In addition, an annual charge of £2,000 for each participating bank will be levied Although, as stated previously, the servicing of the machine, i.e. the loading of cash and any necessary reporting back to banks would be free of charge. Uh, the next heading, um, heading something like um, cash in machine. question of whose cash is placed in the machine is again open to debate. Full stop. Blackpool Pleasure Beach are quite prepared to load the machine with their own cash. However, individual banks may wish to place their own cash um, dispenser um, and this is entirely at the bank's um, discretion full stop obviously if pleasure beach cash was loaded into the machine a settlement possibly in each week or at the end of each day would have to be made between um, TSB and the Pleasure Beach for the amount of cash withdrawn from individual bank accounts, full stop. Head the next um, section, Bureau of the Change. The Pleasure Beach at present operates a check cashing facility on site, full stop. Um, this has operated for the first time last year and in its first year of operation 7,427 checks were cashed. value of £202,000. Mr. Ren Hilton has probably
forest to forward details of all checks cashed to TSB customers, full stop. This will give us an indication um, of the number of Scottish customers who would wish to use the facility. Next heading is benefits. The benefits to the Pleasure Beach are obvious. They would be able to dispense with the check cashing point and the provision of cash dispensers on site may induce um, visitors to spend more money as the facility would be there for them to withdraw cash from their accounts. Full stop. The benefits to the bank are more difficult to determine, full stop. The Pleasure Beach um, stated that it, would, that it would be a good advertisement for the individual banks to have their cash dispensers located on the site. The six and a half million visitors who pass through each year um, would obviously take note of those banks present, full stop. Um, however, I feel the proposition should be judged on the amount of new business the bank will attract and the amount of business the bank would lose if an auto teller was not installed at the pleasure beach. At the pleasure beach, full stop. Uh, well, ahead the next column, con uh, the next section, conclusion. Find it difficult to estimate the amount of new business the bank will attract attract from placing a cash dispenser at the Pleasure Beach site. I do feel, however, that the provision of an auto teller facility at the south end of Blackpool would be important. Um, but it may be, but the bank may be better. Maybe better served um, by placing a cash dispenser either at South Shore Office or Highfield Road Branch. Full stop. I, in my opinion, I do not think that the bank will lose any substantial volume of business by not placing an auto teller on the Pleasure Beach site. The other banks, however, um, view the proposition differently. Um, the National Westminster Bank, the company bankers, um, are planning to place an auto tower on site and are insisting that the present check cashing facility is withdrawn. Full stop. The NatWest auto teller machine will be operational before um, the summer of 1986. Full stop. The General Bank also made overtones suggesting that they would be quite willing to um, join the scheme. Um, the other banks, however, remained non-committal, full stop. One major disadvantage for the bank in placing a cash dispenser on the Pleasure Beach is that during the summer months, our existing customers from the Blackpool area would find it almost impossible to utilize, utilize the machine. Parking would be in, in itself a major problem and customers may have to park as far away as a quarter of a mile um, to use the facility. Full stop. With this in mind, I feel that it would be more beneficial if a cash dispenser was located at one of our existing branches, full stop.